Well, hello and welcome. I can tell you that the HSBC BWF World Tour finals have literally just concluded. I'm Jill Clark and sitting alongside Morton Frost as always. Morton, we had some tremendous finals today. Uh, but let's start with the women's doubles. Uh, the first final, of course, Kim and Kong had been beaten in the final of the last edition of the World Tour Finals. Uh, I guess as they were Olympic bronze medalists, they were probably the favorites. But uh, Matsuyama and Shida were going for three titles in three weeks. I found it difficult to call before the match actually started who was going to win. Uh, I had it exactly the same way. I, I really felt that the Japanese Matsuyama and Shida had a good chance. I was a bit scared in the sense, from, from their point of view, that uh, maybe they were up against uh, too much muscles, you know, they were too strong, the two uh, Korean players, and I actually think that uh, was the case today. I, I think um, Kim so Young played extremely well and she was so active at the front of the courts and uh, offset the rhythm of uh, their opponents and I think she did really well. I, I would agree with that. I think they were very, very attacking from the start. I do think that Matsuyama though, uh, we saw some skills from her that were sublime. The way she's looking for the net. Yes. Now I haven't really seen that with Japanese women's doubles players um, I know that's a generalisation, but I think that she is looking to do things that maybe some of the other top Japanese pairs have not been doing. Absolutely, and I think they will learn from her. I, I think uh, play is always evolving, it's getting better and better and better, and, and I think she's showing some of the things that maybe can improve women's doubles in, in the years to come. She's really finding some really good gaps, she's, she's playing different shots. Uh, she's got a different take on it. So yes, I do agree with you on that. Yeah. Well, the opening game, uh, as you've already said, the Koreans went out all guns blazing, yes. attack as much as they could. It was very, very effective. And then when we started the second game, um, the Japanese pair raced to an 8-3 lead. Yes. And both you and I, we sort of looked at each other in the commentary <laughs> box and we were sort of like, Good, we're going to have a three-game match because yeah. this is a fascinating one. And suddenly it all changed. Well, yeah. What happened? It's, it's tough to say. I, I just feel that um, the, the Koreans got into the same mode as what they had in the, in the opening game. They, they sort of got back to it and they, they played just solid. And I, I think they, they were very, very good pinpointing the defence of Shida. Shida still have a few things to learn. She, she's... Uh, She's a very good player, but she's not been on the world circuit for very long and her defence still need to improve some, somewhat. Yeah, but I think also what's, what's really fascinating because um, uh, of course this week in the World Tour Finals we, we get treated with the round robin situation, yeah. the group situation, because when we get to see pairs that we haven't seen an awful lot of, like Matsuyama and yeah. Shida, uh, and, and they're playing They've got to play three matches in the group. Then they play a semi-final um, and, and the final. And what I find quite remarkable is that perhaps three months ago, we wouldn't have rated no. in world terms Matsuyama and Shida. I know they lost today's final, but do you not think that it's, it's remarkable the way this pair has just stepped into the more established pair's um, uh, shoes and produce the sort of badminton. It's not just the results, it's the badminton, the style of badminton that we've seen today. Yes, um, I think it's very, um, it's a very good timing for Japanese women's doubles that suddenly a new pair is coming into it because um, the, the older and more established pairs are having injuries now. We don't know how serious yeah. it is, but they already have a new pair on its way, and I think that's really wonderful. Yeah. And, and they are showing things that we haven't seen from Japanese women's doubles before, as we talked about. So yes, I think it's very exciting times, and I think it was very befitting that it was those two pairs in the final. They were by far the most outstanding pairs in, in this tournament, I think. Yes, absolutely. And they both won their groups, yeah. came through to the final. I think it was a, a very fitting climax yeah. to the women's doubles here at the World Tour Finals.